Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming back to you from RE Plus 2023, the International Solar Conference here in Las Vegas. And this morning I'm joined by George Kuo, Senior Director of Product Management here at EP Cube, and we're looking at the new EP Cube Lite. So George, good morning, thanks for joining us today. Oh, you're welcome, nice seeing you again. And a great opportunity for us to talk about our new product of uh, part of the EP Cube lineup, the newest EP Cube Lite. Absolutely, well, you know, for those of you who've been following the channel for a while, you know that the EP Cube is a new product that we had announced a few months ago. It includes a hybrid inverter with stackable modular battery storage. But George, maybe for those who aren't familiar with the product, can you tell us about how did the original design come about for the EP Cube, and then what's changed with EP Cube Lite compared to the original version? Yeah, great. Um, well, first of all, the EP Cube was launched uh, last year's RE Plus. Uh, it is, as uh, Joe said, is a hybrid inverter, stackable battery, so it makes it flexible. It goes from 9.9 .9 kilowatt hours to 19.9 .9 kilowatt hours. And in addition, it was designed with a modern feature in mind. So this, the EP Cube with Smart Gateway can support EV charger, diesel generator, AC couple system, all that with automatic transfer switch integrated so you can do full home backup. So that was a quick synopsis of a, a EP Cube product. Right, you know, and, and when the, and the product first came out, I think one of the more innovative things on the design that you'll notice is that the, the hybrid inverter and the battery storage stacks and it looks like one, one integrated appliance, which is really interesting. I mean, just aesthetically, it's, it, it's, it's, a, it's a much sleeker looking design than some of the other battery backups on the market. Uh, but also, particularly for markets like California, where you, you have to work with smaller homes, where, where there's very limited wall space in many cases. And of course, ideally, you want to have this installed as close to the main service entrance as possible. So by being able to have the inverter and the battery storage stacked in one vertical, uh, column, it can allow you to a little bit more flexibility in the installation. So that I know is the kind of the first thing that I notice. Now, George, when I looked at the EP Cube Lite today, the first thing I noticed now is that is that the 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 gateway, the transfer switching mechanism, is much much smaller than the original version. Can you explain how are you able to achieve the miniaturization, and and have we have we lost any functionality? Yeah. So uh, through the experience with EP Cube, full feature products, a lot of the customer likes it, but there's also uh, a trend toward a grid to tie uh, energy storage solutions, right? That's mainly driven in California by NEMP 3.0, but effectively is the need for consumer just to shift when they use the energy from the grid. So with that, we come up with the concept in the production of EP Cube Lite, meaning that we move away from the full feature functions such as backup, transfer switch, uh, uh, EV charger support, et cetera, into something more simpler, make this just a grid high storage. Simply put, that means this thing function as an AC couple battery right onto your, your home uh, uh, main circuit. So um, with that, you can see the size reductions. If you have a reference to the Smart Gateway, Smart Gateway has full features, so it's probably uh, about three times the size of this. This one's mainly just on communication and control. And so if I'm understanding this correctly now, do you, do you envision homeowners deploying this as a storage only solution with no, no solar connected just to take advantage of, of time of use and managing the utility rates? Just a quick word from our sponsor, Savant Power and the Savant Energy Management System. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus storage system, then you're going to want to have maximum visibility and control of how much energy you're harvesting how much energy you're storing, and how that energy is being distributed within the home. The new Savant power system allows you to dynamically control which circuits are on and which circuits are off depending on battery state of charge, allowing you to extend your battery running time during a blackout. The system also includes an integrated electric vehicle charger, allowing you to charge directly from solar or from the grid or a combination of both. So if you'd like to learn more information, you can visit the Savant Power website or click the link in the description below so that you can get in touch with an installer right away. Oh, absolutely, right? So 
rest of the function of an EPQ, whether it's hybrid and battery, is still the same as a part of the EPQ family. So what that means is I can do the DC couple, uh, meaning connect to the PV, so I not right into this, or I can connect it uh, through your main panel uh, as a part of an AC couple battery, right? So yes, you're absolutely right. You don't need a PV. You can connect this right onto uh, your system as a, a AC battery, or take advantage of PV and during the day and harvest some energy. Excellent, excellent. And, and I guess I should mention that too as well, folks, because that was one of the innovative features when the EP Cube original product came out, was that it supported both an AC and a DC coupled configuration. So let's say maybe you have an existing solar power system, you don't want to modify the inverter or, or potentially void the warranty on your existing solar system. So you can AC couple that to the EP Cube, uh, the full feature gateway, and then if you want to add additional solar capacity, you can connect the solar directly DC coupled to the EP Cube hybrid inverter. So if you need to expand your capacity, you can have actually both an AC and DC coupled system and take advantage of battery storage. Uh, George, what can you tell us about availability and pricing on the new EP Cube Lite? Sure, so let me uh, talk a little bit about uh, the size of this, right? So one thing we didn't really talk about is um, with the EP Cube Lite, what happened to the battery storage capacities and whatnot? Okay, which is a big component. So, um, just to refresh, EP Cube Lite can support three battery up to six battery per stack. Each has 3.3 kilowatt hours, that means minimum is 9.9 uh, .9 kilowatt hours, the system, and all the way up to almost 20. With the EP Cube Lite, we can reduce one battery to, as a minimum configuration, right? Uh, so that means I can start at 6.6 .6 kilowatt hours, but still go all the way up to 20, 20 uh, kilowatt hours. Why is that interesting? Because that reduces the cost of this uh, EP Cube Lite. Same functionality, same everything, but smaller capacity. Along with EP Cube Lite, which is uh, much uh, uh, cost effective, so a consumer can reasonably expect the minimum system entries will be probably $3,000 cheaper than the original full stack EPQ. That makes the return on investment much, much faster, right? Makes the entry point much lower for a consumer. And I want to make one more comment, and that's why I was so excited about this, is with all that stuff, it is backward compatible. Meaning that as a homeowner, say three months, six months down the line, boy, I want to have that EV charger capability, I want to have a full home backup capability, just replace this with a smart gateway. And, you know, add the battery, you're good to go. So it's a uh, very compatible, forward-looking uh, concept. Excellent, excellent. Well, I know a lot of you folks out there, if you're a solar installer, especially if you're a solar installer in California, I know that you're going to be considering different battery options and which battery option do you want to add to your portfolio. Uh, George, for those that haven't necessarily made a decision yet on which batteries they want to carry, uh, what can you tell them about availability and pricing for the EP Cube? And where, where, where can they buy it today if they want to get one? Yeah, so great. So EP Cube is launched, so uh, you are able to buy from all your local distributors or ask and uh, contact us. We will help you identify uh, the service channel. Uh, the pricing is a <laughs> little bit of uh, Pricing is depends on the volume and whatnot. So it will be very compatible, uh, affordable. Uh, availability of EP Cube Lite. So uh, we're launching this right now. We are going to get all of our certification done in the uh, next month or two. So we will be able to take order and delivery in the middle of November this year. So very quick before the winter comes. Excellent. Well, folks, again, this has been an introduction to the new EP Cube Lite solution. I've been chatting here this morning with George Kuo, Senior Director of Product Management here at EP Cube. Uh, folks, if, by the way, if you're getting good value from these videos that we have here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up. You know, the reason that we come out to the trade shows like this is because we know many of you want to know what are the latest products, what are the latest developments in the industry. If you don't want to make the trip out here to Las Vegas yourself, you know, that's why we're here to make sure that we're getting the most up-to-date product information to you. Um, so go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Also, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we publish these new videos out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with us. 
Uh, of course, if you're in the process of looking at different solar power options for your home, uh, if you need to get a quote for EPQ battery backup or any of the other leading battery backups on the market, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there, set up a quick call, and we'd be happy to provide some pricing and some information for you. Uh, George, is there anything else that the audience should know about EPQ or maybe where you're going in the future? Yeah, sure. So we're going to continue to optimize EPQ for the future home of the U.S., right? Uh, but one more thing I want to point out. So if you uh, can see it to my right, we're, we're also showing our next generation of residential module. So this is one of the things that EPQ will be able to support is a future module, the beautiful 455 watts residential black on black module. Uh, it's another evolution of technology. Thank you. Excellent. And folks, I think that, that ties into the trend that we've been reporting on all, all week here, which is that we're seeing a lot of convergence onto a single brand. Typically, the inverter is the central component of that system, but now we're seeing solar panel storage, switching, uh, in some cases, load control, EV charging, all becoming part of a unified platform. So, uh, and, and George, correct me if I'm wrong here, but EP Cube is owned by Canadian Solar, correct? Yes, absolutely. Our own uh, design, own manufacturing, everything's ours. So when we talk about EP Cube, although this might this might seem like a relatively new brand in the home battery space, you know EP Cube is backed by Canadian Solar, which is one of the largest global solar panel manufacturers. So in terms of the staying power and the financial stability, uh, this is a contender that you really need to consider because they're they're here to stay. They're an established player in the renewable industry, um, and they're here to stay. So. Uh, anyway, folks, this has been a brief look at the new uh, EP Cube Lite solution. George, thank you so much for chatting with us this morning. Yeah, thank you very much. And, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. All right. I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your product or your business or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, Feel free to reach out to us at the link below so you can set up a call with our media team to talk about your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the U.S. residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you'd like to get your product, business, or technology in front of our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to our media team at the link below or email media at solarsurge.net.